the strongest offensive commander item is? Who is the master of rockets? Let's find out some offensive item secrets. Hit that intro, please. Hi, generals. In today's world talk, we will recap some of the offensive commander items available in WPO. So you can have an easy access to this key information. Vote for your favorite item in the comments below and don't forget to share why it is the best. Before we start, let's remind everybody that the offensive items are powerful equipment pieces that you can add to your commanders. They provide bonuses that give a massive boost to key elements in the game. The first two are fixed, which means you can see exactly what bonus you get. For example, increased commander damage. The next three are random. This means you will find out what you get after unlocking them. But you can see from which bonus pool they are. In this example, we will get bonuses from the offense and the utility pools. All items get their first major fixed bonus when crafted at level 1. At level 2, they unlock their second set bonus. Then, from level 3 to 5, you unlock their random bonuses. The items can have a maximum of 6 levels. Note that level 6 is a special and final upgrade that requires blueprints to be unlocked. This special upgrade also gives you one more hidden random bonus for a total of 4 random bonuses complementing the two main fixed ones. The max level of an item is level 6 with 5 stars. The items have 5 rarities indicated by their color. The rarity depends on the quality of the used materials. Bonus percentages depend on the rarity. The legendary one gives you the highest bonus. If you want to learn more about the offensive items, click on the link here to watch the special tutorial. You can also do it in-game in the offensive items menu. Now, let's start with the first group of items. Wait, before that, I told you I will be back for you. Yes, you, who still haven't subscribed to our channel. What are you waiting for? Hit the notification bell and I'll stop hijacking the videos. Calm down, man, calm down. I'm okay. Let's start looking at the offensive items. Who's first? Commander Kopka. Ah, the master of rockets. Let's launch this. <laughs> the item is best suited for two types of events. Its first fixed bonus boosts cross-world assault health by up to 117.4%. The second one helps you get more points in the Renegade Offensive event. If you max out the item, you will get 19.7%. Its random bonuses consist of a strong mix of offensive, defensive and commander properties. Next on the list is the EO Targeting Supreme. This item packs a powerful punch, thanks to its first bonus that can provide up to 39.2% increase of the commander damage. When you reach level 2, you unlock the second major set bonus, which will help you get more points in the kill enemies event. You can boost the percentage up to 19.7 when you max out the item. The non-fixed bonuses provide an attacking-oriented set of two offensive and one commander properties. We continue with the Soturia protection, which is especially powerful if you play Faction Wars. Who doesn't? Its first bonus enhances the Faction Wars damage of your assault units, which can reach the insane 117.4%. The second set property could increase the kill enemies event points by up to... You guessed it right! 19.7%! Two of the variating bonuses are also Faction Wars focused, providing offensive and defensive properties. The third one will give you a purely offensive bonus. Don't forget that if you level up this or any offensive item to level 6, it will unlock a fourth hidden random bonus. The final offensive item of Commander Kopka is the Ponos Targeting. This item can boost your army size by up to 26%. While helping you get 19.7% more points in the Renegade Offensive event when you reach its maximum power. Its non-fixed properties mix offensive, utility and commander bonuses. Complete opposite to the Seeker missiles, the first of our next group of items. The ones that belong to Commander Walker. The Seeker missiles are defense-oriented. 
Their primary property gives you up to 52% unit armor. The item is extremely useful in the Renegade Offensive event because it can increase the points you get by 19.7% as you can see on the screen. Its random bonuses provide defensive and commander properties. Next on our radar is... Oh wow, what a coincidence! The R-A-V-R Overload. Its primary fixed property is the gathering speed which can be boosted by up to 78.4%. The second set bonus is extremely valuable as well because it can give you up to 15.1 more points in the solo commander event. Awesome! And the set of random bonuses from the offensive and utility pools is not something to be missed. Do you know what's even more awesome? Me? Nope! The Patriot Armoring item. Why so? Because its first fixed bonus can give you up to 91.3% bonus health in cross-world events. Wow! <laughs> the item is also very useful in Renegade offensive events, during which you can get up to 19.7% more points. The random bonuses of the Patriot armoring are entirely defensive with one of the properties arriving straight from the cross-world defense pool. Can you say that Walker's offensive items are more on the defensive side of the spectrum? Yes, indeed they are. Now, it's time to focus on more attacking items. Do you mean the ones that Commander Ilva uses? Yes. Okay, here I am with the Rocket Hurricane. Wait, that's not how the song goes. No, no, I'm talking about Ilva's first offensive item, the Rocket Hurricane. It will help the Commander destroy the opposition for sure. The item boosts damage to all units in Faction Wars by up to 91.3%. It also could increase the points you get from solo Commander events by 15.1%. Additionally, it brings a strong set of offense properties through its random bonuses. One of them will for sure be Faction Wars related. The next item that flies in is the Air 97 Guardian. It's best suited for cross-world events because its first bonus is a boost to the cross-world armor. You can reach up to 91.3%. The second fixed bonus could give you an edge in kill enemies events, more specifically the points you can get. Here you can see the highest percentage increase you can get when you max out the item. What's interesting about the Air 97 Guardian's random bonuses is that the two of them are cross-world specific, one with an offensive focus and one with the defensive side. Stellar stuff. Speaking of stellar, it's time to talk about Rain of Steel. This offense focused item can boost the unit damage when attacking up to 65.1%. Its second fixed bonus increases the points you get in the kill enemies event. The percentage can reach 19.7. Rain of Steel's three variable bonuses can get you two offense related and one utility focused properties. And again, don't forget. Upgrading the item to level 6 will unlock a fourth hidden random property. Speaking of hidden, it's time to reveal the next thing on the list, the EO receptacle. This item is more defensive. It provides commander health as its initial fixed bonus. You can bump it up to 39.2%. The second bonus grants you more points in the solo commander event. The max boost you can get is 15.1%. The three random bonuses would get you two commander and one defense property. Well, that's a wrap on Nilva's items. Now, it's time to move to our next wait, commander. Wait, 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 wait. Bori, we should save some for the next video. Yes, yes, I almost forgot. Well, generals, stay tuned for part two of the offensive items showcase. Stay awesome, WP Army. See you soon.